um, Cap's aerial control is scary. Like, once he has you in the air, that's like, that's his forte. And that is not Mac's forte. So it's literally like a specific weakness right now for Mac. But uh, he's controlling the, the neutral game quite well. Yep. Hasn't taken I thought this was a button damage. check for a second. <laughs> is this a match? Yes, it seems okay, to be a match. Okay, it seems to be a match. All right. Okay. No, this has got to be a button check. It has to be. Am I but? Oh, okay. I guess it's never mind. I'm wrong, Dyer. I'm losing it. That's how you know it's bad when it looks like a bunch. Uh -oh. <laughs> kind of makes you bite your knuckle like, eh, probably want to change up your strategy a bit. Oh, he, he could have gotten more down tilts there. Yes. That definitely wasn't the end of that string. We're not seeing a lot of um, up tilts from Mac. Up tilt is, is a move that it actually doesn't hit really well in the front. Mm -hmm. It's all in the back. So if, if Mac has his back turned to you, he can actually control a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, space that kind of makes me think of using like ZSS up tilt to stop people behind you and stuff like that. That's how he he makes it work. Okay. Oh, there nice. there's great yeah, spot there dodge. There's the up tilt that I was talking about. Yes, you're right. That is that is exactly like ZSS <laughs> up tilt. If anything, similar tactic. Not a strong punish there. Yep. There's only one way he can come back, and that's straight down. Because a lot of characters they have good um aerial control after a missed up B. They can actually float their body back and forth. But that's an up B where he has to go straight back yes. down. So. It's strange. To he also goes punish. straight up when he does it, so it's a very yep vertical move. Very <laughs> linear. Oh, I tried to get the one frame there. Yeah, that's a very tight window. Yes. But there's no reason not to go for it. Correct, because if they're going for a ledge grab, they're not going to try to attack you above the ledge nope. anyway. That's nice up be Nice solid two stock from the Rasher. All right. Seems one like one for him. Seems like E-Money might not be very comfortable in this matchup, because that's, that's definitely one of the uh, pros of Little Mac, is if you're not used to fighting him, Oh, and the player that's using him is good. Mm -hmm. he, he's probably gonna steamroll you, like no matter what character you have. Yeah, I remember week one of Smash Four. Everybody complained about this character oh, online. So oh true. god, no oh. platforms! I can't snap him. And what sucks, is, what sucks <laughs> is that that actually kind of led to Mac getting like preemptively nerfed. And, uh, and that's and what always happens. Yeah. You know that yeah. the people that the people that are discovered first are usually the ones that get nerfed first. We gotta switch to Dark Pit. Let's see if he, uh, the long range sword and the projectiles can actually keep him at bay. But I doubt it. Mac is just too fast. He's getting comboed all day, every day. Yeah. Use the uh, forward B to get back on stage, see? down throw. See, why would you not throw him back Yeah, there? that's what I was thinking. I would have immediately jump. gone for back throw and tried to play ledge game. But see, um, that's, why, that's why I said I can tell he's not used to the matchup. So different strokes for different folks. We'll see what he can do. Nice dodge after the forward B. He can't get predictable with that move because it does have a lot of recovery afterwards. Also very unsafe on block. I, I want to say that, honestly, part of me is it, it wants to say that this set is sealed mm -hmm. or for the Rapture, I, I think he's going to win. I, but It's looking pretty over, but we'll see what happens. The nature, nice the nature of Mac, smash. the nature of Mac, you can lose two stocks. Like that. Out, so. His recovery options are very, very weak uh, compared to the rest of the cast. Up B, as we just talked about, is a very vertical move. You can't really get forward momentum from it. And his other options are all very predictable. He wants one more because he knows that KO Punch wouldn't have killed at that percent, but he yes. lost it. He held on to it too long. Fine. For those who might not know, the way the KO Punch meter works is as soon as he gets it, you can't knock it out of him. But if you wait on it for a while and let, let it cook and simmer, mm -hmm. one single tap can take the KO, KO Punch meter away from him. Yeah, it seems like sitting on KO Punch for multiple reasons is just bad. Yeah. One is that once they realize you have KO Punch, I talked about this earlier, they're just going to dodge all the time if they can and avoid the situation until either you run out or until they hit you with something small. Yep. But if you go for the KO Punch, as soon as you get it, you can really catch the opponent unaware sometimes. They'll like, ding, yeah. ding, oh, they, snap, they, I have to dodge think, too late. Yeah, they don't yeah. think that you're going to use it almost immediately. Anyway, mastery of the KO Punch. What? what see, this is just a... This is like secrets from Mac players, from mm -hmm. high-level Mac players. The thing about Mac that you have to understand when fighting him, for any of you uh, uh, stream monsters watching out there that are like kind of scared of Mac, and I know a lot of players are, you have to remember, he 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 doesn't have the best options for scaring you out of blocking. Your blocking is actually kind of like your best friend against him because then you funnel his his attacks into trying to smash your shield because he does have like um. Like a shield bruiser. He mm -hmm. has a, a down tilted force smash that actually dramatically reduces your shield, but it doesn't have wow. any knockback. Nice so. finish. He got him with a down smash there at the end, trying to recover. Yeah, so that, that's what you need to do. You need to, if you try and um, attack uh, Little Mac too much, mm -hmm. you might find yourself getting frustrated with you know, super armor, 
roll spot dodges. So shielding Mac is actually pretty good because then Mac goes, okay, what can I do? To get through your shield. Yeah. Now I have to mix in my grabs. Okay, but what is grab really going to do? He, can't, he doesn't have a grab combo. He doesn't have a grab kill. He just gets some percent from grab. So it's like mm -hmm. you force him to do something silly. And if you have good reactions, you can force a smash out of him and then bait that. So that's what you need to do. You just don't, don't get too scared against Mac. You just be patient, block, power shield, spot dodge. Spot dodge is actually really good against Mac. You don't want to roll because he, he can catch rolls fast. <laughs> All right, guys. So the next match is coming up in just a second. It looks like J Ribs is stepping up to the play. IQ HQ. Nice. J Ribs, prominent Ness player. Yo, you see that sit down? Oh, no, actually, the real reason he sat down like that is because he's having back problems. Yeah, yeah not, we actually <laughs> ran into him uh, on my way here, oh, okay. walking after the train. And we were talking about that. And he's like, yeah, he's yeah, been having hurts. issues. It he's sucks. taking some time off work. But, uh, you know, there's nothing <laughs> nothing to make you feel better, like a little gaming and relaxation. Yeah, so and Potential money winning. That always fixes everything, yeah, right, guys? True that, true that. <laughs> 